hardship withdrawal from your Walmart 401k. Go to benefits.ml.com and log in. Go to my accounts, Walmart 401k plan on Merrill on benefits.ml.com. Check your Walmart plan account summary. Change the current elections to the contribution rates. You can manage your investments if you want to make different investments or any fund transfer. You can get a 401k loan with no taxes and you get about five years to pay it back. You can do a withdrawal. So today we're going to do a Walmart 401k withdrawal. So all you do is click under the account summary, click withdrawals, click withdrawal. With the withdrawals, they let you know exactly how much you are allowed. And for me, currently, I am allowed $881 out of the $1,800 that I have. The maximum withdrawal amount, they let you know the maximum withdrawal amount and the maximum hardship amount. They're both the same, but they're just letting you know the maximum amount that's available. And the maximum number of withdrawals is unlimited. So if you want to take 200 and then 200 more, and then 200 more. Okay, so let's start the process. Start a withdrawal. Now, I must say, if you do this, you will be taxed pretty heavily. And when I took away from my 401k a couple years ago, I lost about $800 when tax time came. Seriously, think about it. And I had spent all that money, and I, had, I was really looking forward to tax season. Let's start a withdrawal. Okay, so with the Walmart 401k cash withdrawal request, and the withdrawal type is a hardship withdrawal. That's the one that I was allowed. There's a hardship processing fee of $15. The Walmart withdrawal amount. If I click maximum, let's see the withdrawal tax rating. After taxes, I will get the amount you will receive after deducting taxes and fees is $793.78. And so, and they even show you the details when you click view details to see exactly how they calculate it. The requested amount was $881 and the taxes and fees, the federal tax withheld is $88.20. And also during tax time, they will take away another $88 for my taxes. So just think about that. And what's about $100 away from my taxes. Now, let's say that this amount was about $8,000. $800 that they are taking away from you. So the more that you request, the more that you're going to have to pay. So think about that. Then it'd be good right now to have $8,000 and I'm taking away $800 a few months from now. But let's say you take the $8,000, you just go spend it and now it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. What are you going to do? Like, what is your strategy? What is your plan? If you are in a dire emergency, only if you're in a dire emergency and you have just nothing left, there's no other option. There's no other way. The road is dark and you're pretty much... You just giving up. Let this be your last option, okay? Let me mine. Okay, gotcha. Let's say I want to do 10,000. Oh, okay, so you can't do 10,000 because the borrowing amount cannot exceed the maximum. Let's just say I had a bill that was about $400. Before you do it, the amount can determine whether or not to do it. And so I'm always looking for, I would say 300, 400, 500, 500. Let's see 500, we calculate. So I would get about 450 after the taxes and fees. They would take away $50. Tax would have a fee is $50. And during taxes, they're gonna take another $50. I mean, that's pretty much, it's not bad. You don't have to pay it back. But if you think about it, a payday loan, there's a fee of $45. And then every extension is about $45, $30. So just paying it two times and getting $500, $450, you would have to probably put it up to $550 to get the $500. And it's all about strategy and planning. Some people make things appear to be just completely horrible, but you can always look for something positive in a bad situation. So if you're down and out and you need the money, and if you go with financing and you just happen to be in a jam right now and you actually have a strategy and plan then this is perfect for you if you aren't close enough to the 401k loan is a better product because you don't have to pay these taxes i'm gonna put a 401k loan video at the end of this video so that you can see how to get a 401k loan and you can see the results of what would happen what would happen in the future if if you were to take away from the 401k now it's up to you just remember every day we make a decision that affects the future the future is so close yet it seems so far every day is a step towards the future but the future is now cherish it utilize it use it wisely prepare for prepare today for the future for the future is great be great today and tomorrow and also if you need this money use it wisely use it wisely do the right thing you have to do the right thing if you get this if you're getting this you are in dire need of I mean, you are in need of help if you're getting this then i hope that all is well with you it's time to prepare for the future will you be ready